Well, the top selling country artist of all time, Garth Brooks, is going back on tour to stadiums across the country. And this July, he'll be at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Our own Joni McKinnon had the opportunity to talk to Garth earlier today. Here's the full interview. So can I tell you, welcome back to Texas. Seven years is too long. Yeah. Can I say welcome back to Texas? One of the greatest phrases I've ever heard. I love it when you say that. Well, it, now it's been a while since you've been here in Abilene, but we're, we're just as happy to have you at AT&T Stadium, headlining for the first time there too. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, it's sweet. Last time we were in Abilene, I think we were with Miss Reba way early, long ago. So I, uh, that long uh, ago? I, was... I remember. <laughs> <laughs> you were a baby then. No, uh, we've been no. doing this like forever, you know, so it's, it's fun. It's fun to get back to the place that kind of started it all. You know what? Uh, I'm from Oklahoma. Yep. Didn't expect to be treated the way, uh, like a native son, like they do in Texas. It's very sweet. And so decided just to stay down there. And uh, a fella could have made a living just playing down there. And so we pretty much spent the first year of our career there. Yes, you did. So back on tour, stadium tour, a little hiatus. Now you're back at it. What is it like touring more than 30 years after you started this, though? <laughs> Well, what's it like touring after the pandemic? That's it. So it's like, it's, it's, it's one thing when it's your choice, when you retire and go home, raise your babies, that's your choice. And you're going to raise your babies and nothing's better than that. No matter how great music is, no offense. But when you come back and you're rolling and everything's going great and the pandemic shuts you down, and it's not your choice. Now you start thinking, man, was I an ass? I mean, did, did I take things for granted? You know, oh, but I it feel. sure is. Uh, yeah, it's nice. It's nice to see people together again. It's nice to see them hug each other handshakes, and everybody's singing the, uh, the same words together. It's pretty cool stuff. Very, very cool. So, you know, you, you've worked with a lot of artists. You've got uh, a new album out. You know, you've been on tour with a lot of people. It's been a lot of fun lately. So even the dive, yes. you're still doing dive bar tours. I, I, yes, ma'am. Good stuff. Yeah, that's the, uh, that's the, I, I got to tell you, the dive bars, don't tell anybody about my favorite thing. I love them. Uh, so the thing is, try and make a dive bar feel like a stadium. Try and make a stadium feel like a dive bar. And so that's a fun, it's a fun kind of thing to juggle. It's a fun challenge. But the truth is, you turn it over to the people, and something good's always going to happen. Well, that's just, that's where the people is. It's it's interesting, you know, all of your songs. And as I'm looking through all the music, and I, I'm old enough to know all of it, and have, and have started there with you, and remember all of it. And it it just transcends through the generations. It's like, we shall be free is still so relevant today. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, maybe even more relevant today than it was then. You know, so. Uh, there's, there's good things. I, I got to say, out there on tour, some songs are resonating like that. Like you're looking at them going, are you kidding me? That Summer is one of them that gets a bigger response now than it did then. Beaches of Cheyenne gets a bigger response now than it ever did then. So, so I'm, kind of, um, I'm kind of at a loss that way, just enjoying the, uh, the warmth that it brings and, and understanding now more than ever because of pandemic, because of my age, everything, how precious every second is. That's awesome. You know, uh, the fact that you are still selling out these stadiums and surpassing all of the goals and all of the records yes, before, of course, is it mind blowing to you? Because the rest of us look at you and say, it's Garth Brooks, of course he, of course he can do that. He can do anything. <laughs> it's funny because I look and I go, it's the country music audience. There it is. Country music audience is the biggest audience by far. Don't let anybody ever try it. Uh, pull that because, uh, you know, there, there's no way you do exclusive deals with major retailers and major streamers because they know the biggest audience out there is country music. And then you talk about the most loyal audience on the planet, country I'm music. Okay. So you're you just lucky to, to get to play for them. <laughs> <laughs> I know all too well. This is awesome. So um, going forward, you know, country music, it Music adapts. I mean, you know that better than anyone. It, it evolves over the years. What do you think of country music now and the up and comers? Yeah, you, you're sweet to say music adapts. Uh, another word for it, music changes. It just does as the page goes, right? And uh, it wasn't too long ago we were considered the bad guys because we were bringing a little more of a rock element into country music, right? Well, and now nice. you, <laughs> amen. And now you see a little bit more of the street sound, a little bit more of the thump uh, coming in it uh, as well. Um, I don't know. For me, everything is about sincerity. That's it. So as long as you're sincere, as long as you're not dressing up to play the part, as long as you're sincere, then I think country music connects me and you right the way it should from your heart to mine. Well, I mean, I know I know what my favorite song is. Um, you know, 
everyone's got a favorite. I'm, but one time someone said that yours was still the dance, which I yes. love. But the Red Strokes has always been my favorite. Oh, very sweet. I will tell uh, Miss Jenny on that one. That's a uh, that's very sweet. She's she's a writer on that, and that was a that was a fun record to make. Well, you're still able to put out relevant music, and you're still performing, and everyone just ecstatic that you're coming back to Texas. So um, no talks of retirement, right? No, no. Uh, when we came back in 2014 after raising our babies, I told them then you're going to have to throw me out now. They made the mistake of letting me back in. So I'm having the most fun of anybody you ever knew. No mistakes. It was all perfect. Uh, Garth, so so great to talk to you. So so great that you're coming back to Texas. We cannot wait. Tickets go on Thank sale you. 10 a.m. Friday. Can't wait. Cannot wait. I love you. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Good luck, sir. Well, if you want to see Garth Brooks in concert, his stadium tour stops at AT&T Stadium in Arlington on Saturday, July 30th. Tickets will go on sale tomorrow, April 15th at 10 a.m., but the online waiting room opens at 9. Just go to Ticketmaster.com slash Garth Brooks, use the Ticketmaster app, or call 1-877-654-2784.